Extreme Collectibles here with day two of day 10 of statues. I'm doing 10 days in a row of awesome statue videos because I have so much coming in. This is what I referred to yesterday as the mystery statue. It's a custom piece and I knew it was a custom because it was coming from China, but I didn't know what it was. And a big part of that was last night the commissioner told me this would be shipping next week and I'd get my tracking then. So I was really shocked to open this up. So. Before we start, I just have uh, one thing to say. Hey, Hydra. Collectibles here with custom quarter scale crossbone statue. Very excited about this piece. It's a long, long story, but I, I believe this may be the first project from this custom group. They made 33 of these. Uh, I think the pre-order price was right around 800. Shipping was quite a bit because as you can see, it's really big and heavy and things that are really big and heavy don't come by easy. Just so you know. And Crossbones is a Captain America enemy, obviously. They briefly featured him in the MCU. He was the um, S.H.I.E.L.D. agent from Captain America Winter Soldier. And then I want to say, I think it was Age of Ultron he was at the beginning of as Crossbones. This is obviously the comic tape take on the character. And I plan to do a assembly video for you guys, but this was a bitch to assemble. Uh, for many reasons. Some of them are, it's just a lot of different pieces. In fact, here's a picture of all the different pieces. Another issue was uh, some of the design issues we're gonna talk about, some of the things are just setting in there. So I wasn't quite sure how to do it, but I'm pretty sure that's that's correct. Another part is I really didn't wanna put any pants on and I had to stand up because it's, it's decently tall in a few issues, er, a few areas. Uh, as I said, they made 33 of these, came in your uh, standard custom boxing. It had a really cool art box, check this out. And then on the inside here, some layers of the foam. And overall, assembly went really well with one exception. Uh, right here, the gun uh, was not, the, the area it was glued and, and sealed together became disconnected in four different points. So I had to re-glue that because I, I, because I purchased someone else's PO, I was told that if something's wrong with it, I'm on my own. So there's a little bit of glue that went out and I hope this will hold. But the way it's assembled, the, the gun actually is a peg into his uh, crotch as well. So it should hold pretty well. I think uh, just some of the issues where it was difficult to find, figure out what goes where and in what order. So we'll talk about some of that when we talk about the concept and design. And as you see with this guy, he's huge. He's huge. Height, 24 inches. With, or let's do depth. With the gun, and the shield is about the same, 24 inches. Oh, that fell off. And uh, one thing on here, this uh, barbed wire on the side is real barbed wire. It's not real barbed wire, but it's really sharp. And the width is about 20 inches, give or take. So he's gonna take up a ton of room, especially for a secondary character, which is probably a good transition into concept and design. So first of all, this is Crossbones. Crossbones is a badass. He has some superhuman abilities and he's a big gun guy, obviously. And in here, what they did is they set it up, you know, kind of around the Hydra era, really think of, you know, World War II. And he's killed possibly a shield agent or an American soldier. And it's like battlegrounds in France or somewhere like that. And Captain America's shield is on the side and he's just, kicking some ass. He has this big ass Gatlin gun and there's so much cool stuff going on. It's almost too much to be honest with you for a secondary character, but I love it. I love statues like this that have so much different things going on. So concept is really, really cool. Design, I do think there are quite a few issues. Uh, first of all, I, I do wanna give props. Getting the uh, design, the logistics, not logistics, that's not the right word. 
getting um, the engineering of a statue like this together is incredibly difficult, especially how his hands are holding the gun and his ammo going to his backpack. So that's really impressive. Um, a few of the things, like some of these uh, planks here, a few of them just sit there. There's a rod iron beam in the back that goes through under the wall that is free, that moves back and forth unless I'm missing something. Some of the barbed wire barely sits in a uh, indention so it, it flies out. But the biggest issue, as I said, was um, right here, just the design of the gun. It looks like it can almost break. So I'm a little worried about that because if it broke and fell down, the key into the crotch should hold it so I should be okay. But probably the biggest thing that I think was a big miss is Captain America's shield is giant. I think that's way too big. At the end of this review, I'm going to put up Captain America quarter scale, uh, the Secret Empire one, so the Hydra version of Captain America, because that's how I'm gonna display these, and you'll see the difference in the shield size. So a few design issues, but I do wanna give them props. This is an incredibly complicated statue to design. And where they really knocked it out of the park, though, I think is the sculpt. The sculpt on this is amazing. It is really, really good especially for how many different things that are going on. Paint job, I think, is good. Uh, it's not amazing. It does come from a factory that does do amazing paint jobs, so I don't know what happened with some of it. And most of the issues with the paint that I see uh, have to do with the base. So that's one other thing, back to design really quick. The base is way too big, as you see. I mean, for a secondary character, this is just taking up too much room. It's really, really cool. I'm definitely keeping it. I'm lucky to have one. But yeah, way too much room for this base. They didn't need the soldier down there. Um, they didn't need his stance so far apart. They didn't need this big ass wall in the back that you can't really see anyway. But it really adds to the statue. So I think it would have been just as cool without it, but I'm glad that I have it too. So starting at the base here, look at all the cinder blocks and mortar and everything that's going on. I'm not a big fan of the paint job on it. I think the sculpt is really well done. Some good texture on the inside, on the outside, but the paint just leaves it kind of wanting. It looks okay. It doesn't look bad by any means, but there's a lot of different colors. I'm just not sure it was utilized the best. But again, there's no question on what's going on here. Another part, along the front, kind of the dirt below, it's, it's this greenish dirt where there's not really a lot going on. Not that anyone's looking at the bottom of it, but one big area missed with the paint job right here is where the blood coming from the soldier's hand, that does not look like good blood. But thankfully that's gonna be at a bottom part that not really anyone's looking at. And then here you see kind of some sandbags and you know an area where he kind of built a fortress at, a bunker with different wooden planks that actually have a lot of green on them. So it's very reminiscent of the uh, World War. And the two loose planks, they look really good. Great paint job, great texture. I'm a big fan of those. And then here's some bad pictures of the uh, you know wrought iron bar. That looks really good, really faded. The only thing I don't like is how clean cut it is on the ends. A whole plethora of colors in there. And then the barbed wire, here's some close-ups. Uh, looks really good. It was a pretty simple design. You can see they just wrapped some wire on, uh, uh, some thin wire on some thicker wire, but I think they pulled it off nice. Gives that nice little touch, uh, touch to the statue. And then moving up, here's the Hydra symbol. I really like this, that it's broken, so he's defending Hydra, he's trying to win the war. Uh, I like how part of it's broken off, how it's, part of it's just damaged. And again, good use of coloring. It's a, it's a little bit of a contrast from the rest of the base and the bricks and mortar, which is kind of nice. And then I want to look at the soldier. First of all, I really like the texture on his uniform. I like the colors they used. Not sure uh, what kind of affiliation he has. Almost looks like a paratrooper with kind of a backpack strapped on, but really great sculpt to the material. His helmet. I'm not spending a lot of time on this because it's such a secondary part of the statue, but it's pretty badass. Look at his face. Great job on the paint on that. He has a scar. His eyes are whited out, which is kind of freaky. But they even did a good job on the mouth, uh, the detail of his mouth. Then look at his hand here where the dagger goes in. Great sculpt on the gloves, the fingers. 
They should have added some blood on top of the hand because that would have been uh, how it flowed out as well, a little bit. Then some bullet casings right by Crossbones' uh, feet. feet. And then looking at his boots, I'm not sure what kind of boots they wore back in this time, but I'm not a fan of the boots as far as the style, but the sculpt is really well done on them. Uh, from the brown and uh, metallic straps to the, bl the black texture they use throughout. Very solid, and I'm just showing the front one because the back one is pretty buried. But then moving up his pants, he has kind of these Aladdin baggy cargo pants on that are ripped up and worn with different colors of black and gray and white. And you see so many folds and pouches and pockets. Really great sculpt. I think the paint, it's a good contrast. Even though it's gray, it's not exactly like the base. So it doesn't blend in too much. Then he has these metallic knee pads that almost look like they're mixed media the way they're sculpted, but they're not, especially on the straps, the metallic straps on the sides. And then on his right hip, he has a number of uh, pouches and grenades and another large knife. And this is where the sculpt is just blowing me away. Really well done. Definitely prepared for battle. And on his other side, he has another Hydra gun and a big pouch for ammo on his back, and again, more grenades and pouches on his vest. And his vest is a blackish, grayish color, and again, really faded. Kind of looks like it was left uh, painted, uh, only uh, uh, missing in the middle, that paint was missing in the middle, but it, it was intentional here. And again, just more pouches of ammo and really cool shit like that. The sculpt on the clothing on this is just awesome. And then you see he has some shoulder straps here. One, again, more ammo on top of his uh, strap, metallic straps for his backpack, and that has a lot of wear in the colors. Then moving to his back, he has his uh, Hydra backpack that holds all of his ammo. Looks pretty badass. You'll probably never look at it because it's on the back, but he, there's even a grenade on the side. And I like how the Hydra symbol has some uh, tarnished red color on it. And then look at his vest. There's rips and tears. Looks real. Then his arms. I think they missed the coloring on his arms a little bit. I wish it was not so light, but they did a good job with Venation. Really showing his power and his muscles. And then some blue highlights in there. I'm not a fan of the skin color. Then his gauntlet and gloves looks really, look really cool from the sculpt to the metal and black colors that are on there. And then look at the badass gun. So there's not really a lot of color to the gun, but I love the design of it. You know, while it is a sculpt, there's not a lot to it, but it's just badass and these different hues of black and gray all mixed in there. Same thing with the gun clip going all the way to his awesome backpack. Some really cool design in it. And then cap shield, even though I'll probably display it without, uh, I do like how it's all bent up and full of bullet holes. I'm not a big fan of the blue color they used on it. Looks a little cartoonish. So not necessarily the greatest cap shield, but I do like that it's an older cap shield. And lastly is portrait. Badass portrait. Perfect crossbones from the uh, comics. Even if you're not really familiar with the character, there's no doubt on who this is. So a unique thing I didn't talk about, there's no switch outs, which uh, I don't think there needs to be. It's pretty cool. So I think this was a, an extremely rare project. And I say rare because usually for a secondary character, a very, very secondary character in my opinion, uh, you don't do this elaborate of a piece. But then I, I think of the art design behind this, maybe it wouldn't have sold if it wasn't this elaborate because how much they went all out is really what attracted me. If they just had him and they didn't even go all out on him, I probably wouldn't have wanted one. So, But he's going to look great with uh, Captain America Secret Empire. So let's get him out here. Okay, so here's both of them together. Like I said, I think uh, they make a great pair. I hope so. I can't. I can only see the back right now. But uh, talking about the shield earlier, here's the size difference. So 
So I may leave the shield off this. I think I will actually, uh, which there is a little bit of, uh, of the resin showing, but I don't think anyone will see it. So with that, that are, those are my thoughts. Let me know what you think of this piece. Let me know what secondary characters need to be made that haven't been made in quarter scale. That'd be really cool. So I apologize for the review. I'm extremely busy today. I don't know what I was doing when I signed up for this 10 days of statues because I don't have any time. I'm gonna have to edit the shit out of this really quickly and get it loaded. So, but I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, comment on what you think of him. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe so you can see the 10 days of statues. Uh, tomorrow is a video game statue, brand new, just released. So uh, some of you may have already figured out what that is. And then Saturday is one I am so excited for. And Sunday will be a video you guys have been wanting to see for a long time. So with that, uh, I'm out. I, uh, again, thank you for watching. Until next time, until tomorrow. Tomorrow, video game statue. Take care.